fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell your league. So, uh, Deja, she is addressing this whole race situation from what I've been told. So, we're about to get into it. Yeah, dig. I ain't got much to say. Let's get it. I'm gonna just copyright it. That's a dope-ass intro. Who did that intro? Normally, they say who did it. Oh, that intro is fire. Uh, at L.B. Jameson. You see how you find stuff? That's how you find stuff. All right. The freaking video. Video. So, y'all, I'm on my couch today. Wait, how the hell did a video on my house? So sorry. Damn, that's Lindasia's thing, not her, not the people who made it. That just pissed me off. Babes, it's your girl Lindasia, and we back with another freaking video. Video. So y'all, I'm on my couch today. Wait, how the hell did a video on my house? I don't remember. I don't think so. That is my first video of like sitting down in my new apartment that's still not finished. I sit at a table in a rug and that's it. <laughs> Everything else, oh, and two tables for the papayas. Everything else is set in stone. So today, y'all, I am, I asked y'all to ask me questions that I've been avoiding. Wait. Questions that I've been avoiding on Instagram. And y'all gave me a lot of freaking questions because, of course, y'all so nosy. And I really don't be answering to shit. Y'all already know. I just straight ignore y'all. But today I'm like, girl, you be arguing with everybody at the club on Instagram. I think that's the craziest shit in the world. Um, Bessie let y'all in on a little bit of stuff and let y'all know how I've been, how's life, this, that, and third, how everything going, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, if you're new to my channel, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Also, do not forget to turn on your post notifications because you do not want to miss out on any new videos. I've actually been doing good uploading this month, have I? I think I uploaded twice this month already. That's not good. But, I'm going to do better. I've seen what y'all requested in my DMs. So, I'm going to start doing, like, more little vlogs or whatever for you guys. So, without further ado... Let's get into this video. Okay, so Ooh. over. Oh my god, I don't know. Okay, so I'm just gonna let me see. It would be like it would be considered a perfect date for you. Hit me up. I was already sitting in the front date of dinner that go home. No, but seriously, like we can go home men or women. So I think more who the next question is who do you like being more, who do you like being with more, men or women? So I don't really have a preference on men or women. I just like personally what I like. Like, I don't really be like, oh, I'll date. Now, I've dated men more than I've dated women. I have. But that I've, I've it, it, it doesn't matter to me. Like, I like women. I like men. I don't prefer, like, who I like more. You know what I mean? Because they both get on my nerves so that don't matter all right who's calling i'm just i'm recording right now recording what vlogging a video like some content are you vlogging yes like it's the some content are you vlogging for me um yeah all right all right What's up, flying sexy? What's up, flying sexy? We're going to be a monster shit. Bye. 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 Your girl just got 
Hey, so come on. Did, did y'all just hear that? Your girl just got eggs to go on them. I don't have nothing flying sexy though. Okay, so the next question is at this point, at what point did you realize you were mentally done? So I'm. Um, Y'all obviously referring to my situation, my past situation. I mentally feel like I was done. Um, we had went to a club called Heart. Thank One you for the damn um, uh, time stamp. Tuesday. And I think this is when the video came out with, you know, Meek and Ray or whatever the case may be. And I remember I would just really, no, it was not even that. It was the night before that. Um... The night before that, something had transpired and something was said to me that really made me like realize, yeah, this is just probably not it for me no more. Like, she probably said Ray would never do that. I mean, uh, Nick would never do that. Like, it just made me, it hurt my feelings to the point where I just couldn't take nothing else. So I feel like the night before that is what led to me being mentally done. Um, then I had a talk with my person that I was with um, the next day after the club situation and then two days later something else transpired again with like I just could not take it no more and y'all was mentally drained mentally tired and so I just felt like yeah this is just not for me no more I'm going to move around because I've never just moved around I just let you do what you do and I would let you do what you did probably go off on you I probably cry whatever and still stay but now I'm just I need to put myself first and because this is just not going to work so that's when I realized I was mentally done do you see yourself being in a relationship with a girl again? Um, honestly, yeah, I do, y'all. Like, I it's not, I don't have nothing against women. I don't have nothing against women. I do see myself being with a girl again. I can be with a female again. Y'all in know? these comments is killing me. But I mean, like, be patient. I have no problem with females. <laughs> That's what I like. So, somebody said, what's up with me and King Darren? King Darren? Darren is like a brother to me. Girl, Darren is gay. There's nothing up with us. I don't know where y'all getting that from. Why did you and Nick unfollow each other? I've never spoke on this only because some shit I just don't even want to speak on or whatever the case may be. And um, the reason I did unfollow Nick, to be truth be told, is because I feel like... Um, she wasn't really being a friend, if that makes sense. And honestly, like, I don't really deal, I cannot deal with people that's just so sneaky and just so, like, but want to act like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just couldn't deal with it. And I've, I've seen shit with my own eyes. I've seen texts. I've seen everything that I just that really just threw me over the loop and i just was like yeah like this this not my friend like this ray ray and neat got a, a unspoken relationship y'all see the thing is both of them know what's going on but they ain't necessarily claiming it so it's just more so like you know I got a man, but I got a bitch too. But I know that you dating her. I know that um, Ladeja and Ray is dating, but that's still my bitch. Do y'all get what I'm saying, lesbians? <laughs> like, I know you y'all dating, but don't forget that's my bitch too. But I'm going to just act cute with you just to keep you here. You get what I'm saying? Just keep you here. You know what I'm saying? So, it was just more so like, ain't nobody going to thank me and Ray fucking around. And this is a legend. Ain't nobody going to thank me and Ray fucking around. Obviously, I got a boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? And I love him, so I won't leave my nigga for, for Ray. She lets that be very known that she ain't leaving her nigga for no girl. And she don't want to be in a relationship with a, with a girl. However, Neek likes the fun with Ray. Do you get what I'm saying? The thought of them fucking around, the thought of them... 
uh, talking and the thought of them just flirting a little bit and a little dance here or there and a little spend a night or something. That's worth keeping Ray right here too. You get what I'm saying? So Ray don't even understand how much she's right there as well. <laughs> You're right here. You get what I'm saying? Neat gonna keep you right here. So guess what? When she come back to Houston, she may not be giving you no pussy. She may not be kissing you or nothing. But baby, she gonna keep you right here. Do you get what I'm saying? She gonna absolutely make sure that she say enough, do enough, whatever, to keep you in the game. And I feel like with Lindasia, she just, you know, was trying to, you know, be cute with the bit, but just letting it be known, bitch, I ain't going to work. <laughs> Bitches do this, y'all. Girl. It's really not my friend. This is Ray's friend at the end of the day. She's not my friend. So, and I, mind you, like, I've been knowing her before I knew Ray and stuff like that. So, I just feel like, honestly, with us three, it should have been, like, a real friend thing. But I feel like it wasn't that, like, I feel like I was low-key getting played with in my face. You was. I didn't like that shit, so. You was. I didn't. Um Bitches move very weird. And, like, I always experience this, y'all. But it's like, you can never run away from it. Because bitches just, just like what uh old girl did to, to Tommy. For what? <laughs> Why? But people think they can play with you. But see, whole time you be knowing what the fuck going on. Lindasia knew what was going on, but didn't want to believe it. Y'all, we be knowing what the fuck going on. That first instinct you get. That first feeling you get in your in the pit of your stomach, that's the truth. I'm telling y'all. I ain't never had a situation where it was a lie when I felt that shit right here. It was never a lie. It always come out later though. You know what I'm saying? Girl, these bitches is weird. Follow her or whatever. I have no ill will towards her. I have no beef towards her. I just felt like it was no point of us even still we don't even, we really don't even communicate it. We never really communicate it. So I just feel like it just wasn't no point of us following each other or just me talking what? to her or anything. So I just politely unfollow her. But even when I did that, it still wasn't no beef. Like, <laughs> it's nothing. Honestly, I'm not above no But fight. somebody asked me, am I healed? So I would not say that I am 100% healed. 50% yes, I am. Um, 100% no. But I feel like I'm getting there day by day. Like... I'm getting her day by day. So that's all that matters. Someone asked, would I ever date someone from my past again? And the answer is no. I have never back, backtracked or doubled back to nobody. I just feel like, and that's the thing. I've literally left in my all my relationships I've ever been in. Because I feel like I put up with so much until I can't no more. So once I just leave, I just don't come back. Because now we can't even have a friendship after what you've done to me. So, no. Am I currently in love? No. I am not in love. Nowhere close to being in love. Um, I just feel I love with someone, so I don't even have enough room to be in love with anybody right now. So someone asked, do I miss Goyard? I do miss Goyard. At the end of the day, y'all, that's still my dog. That I ain't gonna lie, you stupid for not taking your dog, bitch. Because if you gave them to me, my dog coming with me. My dog was gifted to me, and that's still my dog. I do miss my dog a lot, actually. And I just I just know he got so big. I have not seen him, y'all, in like almost two months. So, yeah, I miss my friend. Child, I probably would have got another dog. I ain't gonna lie. Dog. And to clarify, I left Goyard right there. It was my choice. She did not be like, oh, give me my dog back or nothing. I left Goyard out there because I was actually like going, I was actually going through so much. It, my focus was not on a dog. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was not on a dog. So I was like, okay, well, I, she loves Goyard so much and she's going to take care of him. So I did politely leave Goyard with her. Somebody said is better than strap wow <laughs> i'm not going to sit here and cap to y'all lock to y'all it's definitely better than strap i mean strap is like y'all real penis will forever be better than strap and a lot of y'all gonna be upset that i said this but it's not a lie <laughs> it's warm and it's hard 
So, I absolutely understand why. Now, granted, if you ain't come, friend, that's on you. That's what I can do for you. You get what I'm saying? If you didn't come, I can handle that. Um, If you, you know, he take, you know, he take it too, uh, not he take it too long, but he not, basically not making you come. I can make sure you keep coming. You get what I'm saying? I got you on that. But y'all, listen, a, a, a real penis would be better than a, a fucking, uh, a, 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 a strap is a, is a enhancement. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's an extra for some women. And for some, they just gotta have it. Some women actually feel like strap is better. You know what I'm saying? Than, than, you know, the real penis. But y'all, you have a different connection with women. So two women together, it's a different connection than a man and a woman together. And you can't even say one is better than the other. It just depends on that connection. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's all I can say. Rubber or some got silicone. Like, it's different textures of strap. Like, real, mm, got like meat, bitch. You can skin to skin. Like, they in your, mm. y'all know, like, for the we one know that know, know, sorry for the little kids, but yes, definitely. It's definitely better than, it's nothing wrong with strap, though. Like, I mean, I took it, but you know, the real is definitely better than the fake. Why did you start talking to Cora? I still talk to Cora. Cora was just over my house yesterday. How does it feel to have your own space slash apartment? That's the question. And I ain't gonna lie. If she didn't break up with Ray, she probably wouldn't have her own place. I'm happy they broke up. Because she can get her own shit together. It feels so freaking great. Like, yeah. I don't know. Having my own apartment just feels like so refreshing and great. Like, I don't have to. When I'm sad or mad or whatever the fuck. I can just come in my house and not and deal talk with to nobody, you. not mm. bother nobody. I don't want to, I don't have to hear nobody but my kid, you know, and he's a baby. So I don't really be minding hearing him because I can just tune him out. Like, so like, it's just, it's great. I love it. Like my house feels so homey. Anybody that comes to my house, like, oh my God, it's so homey in here. Like it's just so. You know, another thing, I hate a person who always got a bunch of niggas at their crib, bro. <laughs> that really, really grinds my gears. Like. It's okay to have a couple people at your house sometimes. I'm talking like, like Chris moved Jazz in, Armand and Trey, <laughs> Taylor Girls. <laughs> Y'all, the white dude. <laughs> Chris moves everybody in his house. It's no fucking way all them would have been in my house. <laughs> give a fuck how much money we making like and i'm married not how nah i can't have all the people in my house i can't now well i i'll take that back in their situation i mean they had a good situation out of that but they first month was looking like you can move like it, it wouldn't have been no longer than 30 days for that situation all right y'all let's come here grind let's make that 20k 20k we ain't got to make 100 to move. 20K, get the fuck up out of here, okay? I think Armand and Trey first check was like 25000 or some shit. Get me the fuck up out of here. You know, somebody could have got an Airbnb or something. But anyway, my point is everybody should go to their rightful homes. Jazz definitely is another one, but I, I kind of don't blame Jazz. She's, she's not single, but she has a woman who got her own house. Crystal got her own house. Crystal can go home. Jazz got her house with her niggas. She's not in that relationship. If I move eight people up in here, <laughs> it just don't make sense. Cozy homie, and I just love like being in my own space. So somebody asked, do you think it was good for you to move on fast or do you think you should have waited? So I don't necessarily like, I don't necessarily think that I moved on fast because at the end of the day, I am not in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship. I'm not in a relationship. I am not in a relationship. <laughs> Y'all heard that three times, right? Go they were on. like four times. I'm not in a relationship. Yeah. I am single. I'm dating. Dating? Okay. But I'm not in a relationship. But you're not dating. And honestly, else. no, I don't feel like it was too fast. Only because it's like... That's the thing, people don't know. So I'm gonna break this down to y'all so y'all can know. 
I moved out of her house on Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. Not got us. I moved out of her house. Okay. Uh-huh. A lot of stuff that happened Christmas Eve that I mm, yeah. So I politely got my stuff and I left. I went to one of my friends' house and stayed there for like a week and a half, maybe. And during that week and a half, y'all, I slept on her couch, stayed on her couch, crying my eyes out every fucking day. Every fucking day. I was talking about there was not one day that I just did not wake up and be like, yeah. No, I sat there and cried every day. I did for a whole week and a half straight. They were trying to get me to go outside. I would not even go outside with them. I would just go somewhere by myself. I was fucking hurt. I was sitting on that damn couch crying. My motherfucking eyes out, getting motherfucking migraines every motherfucking day. Acting like I just lost a damn, like somebody just died. Like I was literally like dead ass boo hoo crying. I got up and I decided that I was not doing it no more because that was not getting me nowhere. That was not helping me. That was not doing shit for me. So, New Year's, I said, okay, I'm going to leave this in December 31st and I'm going to start my day fresh today. And that's what I did. So, I didn't move on fast. I didn't... I'm not in a relationship, so nobody can really say I moved on fast because you can get out of a relationship and start talking to somebody in two hours. You know what I mean? Be like, you can literally just get out of a relationship and talk to somebody within a week. It don't really matter. You know, like, as long as you're not, like, as long as you didn't hop out of a relationship and jump into another one, then I feel like that's fine. Like, it's no problem with that. It should be no problem with that. Well, I have another kid. I told myself, if I don't have another kid by 30, then I'm not. I want to get all my kids out the way before I am 30. And I only want two, max. One, fine. The one I have now, perfectly fine. I love him to death, and that's all I can deal with right now anyway. Would you ever get back with your baby daddy? Girl, fuck no. Don't y'all think I would have been back At all. Like, what's so... Everybody's telling him that. Definitely, y'all. My kid is very spoiled. What's the one thing in your past relationship that you aren't going to do in um, your future? So, one thing in my past relationship that I'm not going to do, first of all, is give somebody that many chances. Then, on top of that, space. Um, I in my last relationship, I feel like that's what really fucked us up was space. I went to be under my partner 24/7. It was me. I admit, it was me. I did it. I didn't want it to be under. Come on, it was me. I wanted to be under her 24/7, and I never gave her no space. So um, that kind of like fucked us up. I'm not gonna lie. That kind of like did us Got really to have dirty. Space. Like, Got we was to. just up on each other 24-8. So, I feel like in my future relationships, y'all see how I got my apartment? I'm never going to live with nobody again. <laughs> like, I'm never going to live with nobody again or stay with anybody again. I'm always going to keep my own space. And Nah, you end up living with somebody. I can't fucking do that. Work. Or not even that. Like... I, I'm just such a lover girl, and and I, I would do anything for my partner, like, that's a deal breaker for me, because we're grown here. So, what are you like in a relationship when you really want it? When I... Mm -mm. Alright, y'all. Uh, love and Deja Dev, but baby, she just take a little, little too long to get to the point. Um, we're gonna go ahead and... <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, I get it. Girl, Neek was... Nick was, Nick was, Nick was dipping on your chip, friend. Nick had your chip and she was dipping in. Wait, wait. Nick had a chip and she was dipping it in your dip. That what it was. I completely understand. I'm sorry you had to go through that. You know what I'm saying? And I am 
done with this. Uh, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.